We're at the base of the Hoonhae Valley in a, a series of flood mitigation ponds that have been excavated recently. And uh, I'm standing right beside what remains of a Kahikatea or a Dacrocarpus decritioides conifer tree uh, that probably once grew in a, a swamp forest in the, in the base of this valley. The stump here is part of a, a matrix of around about 100 to 150 stumps, but they're evenly distributed right across this site. So you can actually look at what was probably a standing forest that was covering the entire site here. This forms part of a, a network of um, buried forest sites that we find right across Christchurch. And then often in behind the stumps you can actually look at soil profiles that are attached to these stumps. And what we've found so far is a, a series of banded sediments that actually indicate probable flooding of this particular uh, deposit here. Clearly you've got the source of the Hoonhae Valley watershed that comes off there. But at the same time, as, as you look to the uh, west from here, you've got the Southern Alps with the major watercourses that flow off the Southern Alps, particularly the Waimakariri River, which in its current position flows north of Christchurch. But we know from looking at the sedimentology of this particular area that it switched south around about 600 years ago. So uh, it's likely that this particular deposit may have been flooded at that time or during multiple periods over at least the last 10,000 years with the, the shifting of the Waimakariri River. So it could have happened a thousand years ago, 2,000, 4,000 years ago. This represents one of many sites across Christchurch where we've been uncovering over, over periods of development in Christchurch numerous stump deposits and this is probably the largest one that we've actually found and uh, this will contribute to the overall story of the uh, forest ecosystems that once occupied Christchurch and its surrounds.